Hey kids, it's supper time and I'm going to try to fix something that I had at a local Mexican restaurant this past week or so and it was really delicious. It was made into a burrito but I think it'd be great on just rice. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. The menu is chicken thighs with mushrooms and onions and bas basmati rice. I hope I did not mispronounce that. If I so, I do apologize. So let me show you what we got. Okay, so what we've got so far is uh, some cooked chicken thighs. This is one whole package. I've pre-cooked them the other day and put them in the refrigerator because I wanted the fat to render off of it so I can take it out. I'll be using the rest of the uh, liquid from the chicken thighs when they cooked as part of the broth. I've got a whole cutting board full of portobello mushrooms, small ones, and a large onion. And we're going to get this all chopped up and get it ready for the skillet. So I cut it, started to cut up the mushrooms, and this one to let you see about what size those are. That was a fairly large one, about this size right here. I cut it in half and then in quarters uh, this direction. And I'm chopping up the onion uh, about the size of, I don't know, pencil, end of a pencil. Anyhow, I think that'll work great. As soon as we start sauteing all this up, it'll be wonderful. So the prep is all done. I'm going to show you what we got ready. Okay, so back here in the back we have our chopped onions. This is about two to three cups worth. Over here is our chopped up mushrooms. These are those small portobellas. Looks pretty good. And this is what came out of our chicken that we fixed. Um, like again, like I said, I fixed this the other day. I cooked it in the oven until it was done. I baked it. And what we have over here is the gelatin from the chicken when it cooked. A little bit of chicken fat here, which I pulled off the top of the gelatin, and a big pile of chicken. So I got the griddle of the skillet warming up on the stove, and I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken fat in there and render down our onions first, and then we'll see how that goes from there. Okay, skillet's hot. Add some of that chicken fat in there. Let it start to melt down. Now goes the onions. I'm going to salt those and pepper them a little bit. Let them start to sweat. And add the mushrooms in a bit. Okay, so we got the onions in there. I've been stirring them a little bit. And they're still starting to turn translucent, which is good. I'm going to let them cook a little bit more and then we're going to add the chicken in there and that will warm up the chicken and render off some of the leftover fat that I couldn't trim off of it into this wonderful mixture here. In the meantime we got their basami, basamati rice back here, basmati, I'll get that right here in a minute, cooking, it's probably cooking way too fast but we'll adjust that and we'll see how this goes here in just a few minutes. Okay, I think this is as done as I want it to be. I'm going to add the chicken in here, all of it, because I'm not planning on cooking for a day or two. Well, maybe. We're going to let that warm up and saute just a bit. And then what we're going to do here in a few minutes is we're going to add the chicken gelatin in and then, then the mushrooms and let that gelatin steam the mushrooms until they're done. But this is looking good and smelling great. Alrighty, that's warmed up nice. Sizzle a little bit. So I'm going to take and dump in now the gelatin from the chicken when it cooked. Okay. And as that starts to render down, see what's doing? You see that? It's melting down. That's making a nice broth. Gonna let that melt, and then we're gonna add our mushrooms on top. Oh, we're almost ready for mushrooms now, and then let that lovely broth steam our mushrooms. Yep, it's ready for mushrooms. There we go. Right on top there. 
Now I'm going to put a piece of foil on top of this, just enough to let that steam and then let cook a bit. Okay, so we got everything cooked up. The mushrooms are almost done. And I realized we got a little more fluid in there than I probably wanted, but it's going to be good on the rice. So I decided to make a thickener for this. I'm going to use about a half a cup of warmed up water with about a generous tablespoon of cornstarch. I'm going to mix that up as a slurry and then pour that in. Okay, so this is what the slurry looks like. I decided to go ahead and add another generous tablespoon. Uh, and this is what I used to measure with. I was not winning kind of measuring spoon, but just a big generous one of these. The warm water helps that dissolve. I'm going to pour, pour that now into this. And I'm not going to put a lot in at this point. We're just going to see how much we need to get it to start to thicken. Oh, that's doing well. Okay, I am going to go ahead and pour the rest of it in. Just kind of lay it over around there and mix it in to all of that lovely broth that we had for that. Can you see that thickening up there? That's going to be really great on top of our rice. Now this does not take very long to cook when you do this. In fact, it's probably better to turn the temperature down a bit and just let that cook for about a moment or two. Thicken up, which is doing really, really well. And then all we have to do is wait for the rice, which is almost done too. Ooh, that looks good. It smells great. Okay, everything's done. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, there is our chicken thighs with our onions and mushrooms and our lovely little gravy in it. And our basmati rice is done as well. So, hope you like this. Enjoy. Be blessed.